Hey YouTube, Scott Stevens here. Welcome to another edition of WWE 2K22 DLC is out. The whole damn pack is out. We just did a stream a little while ago with all of the contents of the pack, including the My Faction pack, which wasn't too bad. We got one guy, but any of you that have played my faction for any amount of time, uh, the cards suck. They're only good for a collection because they're not making your starting lineup. One Rob Van Depp barely made mine, which says something because I never play it. So um, a lot of you probably uh, didn't even get one guy added into your lineup. But now we are going to take these new people and put them in action. And we're going to... Check out their entrances, their movesets, all that stuff. So the first match is going to be Rob Van Dam. He is going to take on Machine Gun Kelly. Hopefully he'll kill him because he doesn't need to be <laughs> in there. Then we're going to do L.A. Knight against Commander Aziz. Then the two women will face off. And then Logan Paul is the odd man out. So we're going to set him up with the guy I just created recently, the American Superstar. So, uh Right now, we will check this out. We uh, have this match set at the Raw Arena from uh, 1997. So let's check it out. This should be a very one-sided match. And uh, don't forget tonight, big live stream. Universe continues with a pay-per-view event for Florida Championship Wrestling. All three titles on the line tonight at 7.30 Eastern. You guys get to pick who I play as. Hope you will join me for that. Uh, here comes the awe-inspiring, high-flying Hall of Famer. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan. Weighing in at 235 pounds. Yeah. to ever simultaneously hold ECW and WWE titles. An innovator in the skies and with weapons, too. Rob Van Dam is a walking weapon, quite literally, Byron. From ladder matches to hardcore brawls, RVD can get it done in any situation possible. I'm hoping we'll see a five-star frog splash handy. Five-star match, courtesy of Rob Van Dam. Time to rock. MGK putting on a performance before the match starts. I think he's failing out tonight. And his opponent from Houston, Texas. Weighing in at 174 pounds, Machine Gun Kelly! We've seen MGK around these parts quite a few times. It's awesome to see him back. My favorite MGK appearance was when Kevin Owens powerbombed him off the stage. Hey, after. don't remind us of that, Corey. Can you believe he got Megan Fox? Unbelievable. Known extremely well in the hip-hop world. Now adding some rock to the mix. I am excited about MGK. You're the only one, brother. You're the only one. Changing talent like Rob Van Dam, a guy who tosses out the rule book and competes with a style all his own. We'll just have to see what daredevil maneuvers RVD has in store for us for this one. And he's in there with Machine Gun Kelly? I don't know, guys. I mean, I like this guy when he's getting slapped with a giant hand, but 
A WWE superstar? I'd like to slap you in a giant hand, Saxton. Who's to say MGK can't hold his own in the ring? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. Not to mention he wakes up next to the hottest of celebrities. That makes him tough, talented, and lucky, which is more than I can say about you. Lucky. Not talented. Not tough. Lucky. <laughs> And he's going for a cover. He's handing out. He's handing out an ass kicking right now. Rob Van Dam better get his shit together quicker. He's going to lose to Machine Gun Kelly. Kelly misses with the big elbow. He'll never live that down if that happens. Rob Van Dam will be joining my universe tonight. I think we're going to put him in Florida Championship Wrestling. Look at that off the second rope. With the drop kick. And Van Dam finally turning things around. It's a single leg camel clutch. Machine Gun Kelly took some damage. Now he's handing some more damage out. Come on now. Come on. I'm not buying this at all. Oh my god, he's going for another cover. Rob is stunned and he kicks out at two. Come on, Rob, you can't lose to Machine Gun Kelly. Kelly's got him up. Wow. Yeah, Rob Van Dam will probably be joining Florida Championship Wrestling in my universe. He's the only male I'm going to add there's a power bomb and mgk is feeling that one there he goes rolling thunder and damn van dam goes for a cover oh machine gun kelly kicks out at two and three quarters two and three quarters he's in trouble now though van dam up to the top there's a knee touching super fly and that could be the end of Machine Gun Kelly. Thank the Lord. Rod Van Dam gets the victory moments ago. He was about to lose. He would never have lived that down. But he turns it around quite nicely for the victory. What a win for him here. He really displayed his prowess in victory. He was as on top of things as he could possibly be here tonight. And look how it paid off. And he'll be joining Florida Championship Wrestling in my universe. That's a three-star match, according to the fans. It was almost bad. He, he took more of a beating than he should have from Machine Gun Kelly. All right, next match up is going to be LA Knight against Commander Aziz. So let's see. Going to put everybody in action. So we can see their entrances, their movesets. There he is right there. I'm going to choose an arena randomly. All right, we're going to have him in the WWF 3 arena. No titles on the line. Let's get to it. Don't forget, leave a... Hit that like button down below if you don't mind. Smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel too and turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything. Like the big live stream coming up tonight for Universe Pay-Per-View for Florida Championship Wrestling tonight. WWE Universe, let him talk to you. I think mean, LA Knight may let his fists do the talking tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hagerstown, Maryland. Weighing in at 240 pounds. LA Knight. Movie star good looks, charismatic 
as the day is long and tough as nails. Two decades of experience, uh, top titles won throughout the world. Definitely set to grab headlines here in WWE is... L Hi, Knight. Chloe. I'm not really sure. Thank you for joining. Hope you're doing well today. Not too bad, thank you. Whether with Apollo Crews or on his own, he has shown that he is always a dominating presence. Yeah, amazing power, surprising agility. Commander Aziz has all the tools to hold court over the entire WWE. All right, we have everybody in action here so we can check out their move sets, their entrances. Rob Van Dam just put a beat down on Machine Gun Kelly moments ago. After this match, we have the two women are going to face off after this match. And we'll check them out as well. And then Logan Paul, the odd man out, he'll face the American superstar. Look at the size difference here between L.A. Knight and Commander Aziz. Big, big size difference. But Knight isn't letting it bother him to this point. He's come out firing on all cylinders. It's not looking like that right now. LA Knight's handing out all kinds of punishment. Followed by a neck breaker. And he's on fire. That's cool, Chloe. That's cool. This gives you a chance to check him out in action before you get to that. That's cool. What the fuck was that? L.A. Knight jumps off of the top turnbuckle, goes two feet, attempts a drop kick, and comes up empty. That was terrible. Terrible. But he puts a swinging neck breaker on Commander Aziz regardless. And the Commander kicks out at one. L.A. Knight's in control of this match right now, but he needs to stay on top of his opponent if he wants to continue on to victory. Now he's talking shit. And he's in a position to do so. Well, not anymore. Azir. Azir. <laughs> Aziz. Fall away slam! That took a lot out of Knight. Aziz going for the cover. He didn't take that much out of him. No, he, he's in con complete control of that. Yeah, that'll be cool, Chloe. That, uh, she's going to be the next match that I do here. So we can check her out. Aziz, he's got him locked in. He's trying to rip his face off. L.A. Knight, who was in complete control of this match just a minute ago, is now on the receiving end of a face rip. He's taking a lot of punishment. He gets out of it, and he goes for a cover, but didn't even get a one count. No real surprise there. Azir is... Aziz... Why do I keep saying Azir? Aziz is in control. Knight just gets some offense going to stop the bleeding. He's going to pick the big man up. Another neck breaker. That's like the third one he's done, but Aziz had a foot under the rope. Been a pretty even match so far. Aziz looks like he's ready to start bleeding, though. He's taking some punishment to his head. That is a huge backbreaker. I don't know what's going on here. Apollo Cruz has his music playing. I don't know if he's coming out. 
Either way, L.A. Knight is distracted, and he shouldn't be. He needs to turn around. He left the big man alone and unattended. Aziz gets up, grabs Knight from behind. What's he going to do? I don't know. Um, I don't know, Chloe. I didn't get to see it. He lost. He lost to uh, Rob Van Dam just a minute ago. I had those two square off in the first match here. I don't think he got a finisher. I don't remember, honestly. Aziz going for the cover. He may have him here. He does. Wow, he turned that match around. Commander Aziz with the victory. LA Knight had a very solid performance, but not good enough. That was a back and forth match. I give it a three. Yeah. Yep, three stars. It was even. Good match. Commander Aziz with the victory over LA Knight. Alright, next match. We're gonna we're gonna put the women in action here for the next match. Let's see. Okay, and that one doesn't take long to start. And we're going to do a random arena. All right, it's going to take place at NXT TakeOver 30. Let's get right to it. Don't forget, big live stream tonight. Universe continues 7.30 Eastern Time with a pay-per-view for Florida Championship Wrestling. That's kind of cool. Putting everyone in action here so we can see their entrances and movesets. That's cool. That was cool. That was a cool entrance. Some say she's on a hunt to avenge her father. Some may say that others believe Zaya has more sinister and ancient roots. Now others equals Corey Graves. <laughs> That's a pretty cool entrance. I like that. They did cool. They did a good job on that. Should have had this match in uh, in the New Japan arena. Ten years of experience. I agree with you, Saxton. Soraya earned top titles in Japan, and she looks sure to repeat that same sort of success here in WWE. I'm expecting a lot of high flying action here. Intense look we just saw. Ready to compete. Once again, we're putting all of the new DLC characters in action here in this stream. So we can see their entrances, their movesets, see them in action. So far, pretty good. Rob Van Dam beat Machine Gun Kelly to start us off. Commander Azir, Aziz. I don't know why I keep calling him Azir. He just took out L.A. Knight. And here we have Zia Lee and Saray. 
meeting here at NXT. Oh, back body drop over the top rope out onto the floor. This is take over 30. It does, but right now, Saray is having her way. Saray is having her way out on the floor. Zaya's got her locked up. Neck breaker. Oh, boot to the face. Puts an end to that move. And she stomps on her stomach. She stomps on her gut, kicks her in the face, and Saray is dishing out a lot of punishment to start this match. Yeah, that would be, Chloe. That would be. Yep. Saray climbs back in the ring. Reps count got up to eight. Lee gets back in. I think she might might have been a little reluctant to get back in there. At the pounding she's taken to this point. We're expecting her to turn things around any moment, and there you go. There's an elbow. That turns things her way a little bit. Snap suplex. Lee's dragging. The dragging on this is just terrible. She goes for a cover she's not going to get. There's really no need for the whole dragging system. I mean, a little bit. Semi there is, but when they're on the ropes like that, it takes them 10 seconds to drag them to the center of the ring. Just fucking pin them. Just set the AI to pin them. I mean, that's just dumb. Lee's going up to the top rope. Saray is down. Oh, huge super fly. She got 15 feet in the air. Made solid contact. And Saray kicks out at two and a half. I think I heard a rib crack on that one. There's a drop kick to the middle of the back. And look at this, Lee. Not happy about the punishment she's taking, and she is just punching away at Saray's face. And she's doing it again. She's not done. Saray was in control of this about just a few moments ago. And again, Lee punching furiously at Saray's face. Uh-oh. And she's doing it again. The women don't bleed. But she's trying to change that. And she goes for a cover. She may have it. Saray kicks out at two. But she's certainly got to be seeing stars. She just got punched in the face about 18 times. Kick to the back of the head. Yes, she's having more than problems. She's in a world of shit. But she blocks that, turns it around, hooks the leg, suplex. Oh, she should have held that and gone for a pin. That was a nice move by Saray. And now she goes for the pin. That's stupid. And Lee kicks out at two. Saray had that leg hooked. She could have held it for the pin. She might have got it. And said she let it go, got up, and then went for a pinfall. That didn't make any sense. But now she's up on the top rope. Lee's getting up. Saray waiting. Oh! She jumped high off the top turnbuckle, tried for a drop kick, and came up completely empty. No reason for her to miss that. It's not like Lee got out of the way. But that's a big suplex. That'll break your neck for sure. She's got a cover. Saray with the victory. That was a powerful finishing move. And Lee not moving after taking that devastating finisher. So Ray with the victory. A little bit of a surprise there, I'd have to say. Yeah, Chloe, I agree. I expected her to do a little better here, though. Two and a half stars is the match rating. So Ray with the victory over Zia Lee. And that was a devastating finishing move. That just bent her neck in the complete wrong direction. That will certainly cause a lot of problems in the W.O.W. in my universe when we put both of them in later today. All right, we got one more match. Logan Paul, and there's an odd number here. So what we're going to do is there was an odd number of people in the uh, DLC pack. So we're going to put Logan Paul in action and we're going to hook him up with the guy I just created 
the American superstar. And maybe I'll learn my alphabet and be able to find them. There we go. I like this attire better. And we will choose a random arena again. All right, Money in the Bank 2021. All right, so let's get started. Logan Paul against the American Superstar. Logan Paul. I don't know. He doesn't. I don't think he's he belongs in here. I mean, he belongs more than Machine Gun Kelly does. There's no question about that. But either one of them. Yeah, I mean, either one of those slots could have gone back to uh, somebody more established. All right, Chloe. And now a WWE superstar. The following Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you soon. Hi, IDK. IDK, maybe you should, uh, maybe you should restart. See if that fixes it for you. Yeah, I kind of question the company that Logan Paul has chosen to keep. I like his outfit. Well, no, not really. I like the colors. That uh, jacket thing there, that's a, uh, what is that, a ja hoodie jacket? Oh, that sucks, IDK. I don't know. I don't know what uh, what might be able to be done other than that. Open up, uh, open up a ticket on the website. They're usually pretty quick at getting back to you. Yeah, that's true too. You can check it in about an hour or so. All right, here's the guy that I created because there was an odd number of superstars in the DLC pack. So Logan Paul is going to get to go up against my friend, the American superstar. There is. Stands out to me as how they support their friends. They should know better than to waste their time building bridges and inroads backstage. Those are just more directions for your enemies to attack you from. So Rob Van Dam beat Machine Gun Kelly, Colonel Aziz, Commander Aziz. Jesus, I can't say his name right. Commander Aziz beat L.A. Knight. And he's about to get one. Zia Lee lost to Saray. And here we have the odd numbered guy out, Logan Paul. He's going up against my newly created superstar, the American superstar. And we've seen everybody's entrance, their movesets, everybody except Logan Paul. We'll see him here. Don't forget, I got a big live stream tonight, 7.30. I do three big live streams every week, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday night. Tonight, 7.30, my universe continues with a pay-per-view event for Florida Championship Wrestling. Rob Van Dam will be signed to Florida Championship Wrestling in my universe. Three title matches on the line tonight. Mick Foley defends the World Heavyweight Championship. Blackjack Mulligan defends the Florida Heavyweight Championship. And the Hart Foundation defends the Florida Championship Wrestling Tag Team titles. Tonight, it's 7.30. Eastern time on my universe. Make sure that you drop a like down below if you like the action here. Hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything. Because besides those three live streams, I do come on several times a week. He's going for a cover already. Oh, son of a bitch. I didn't set the... Uh, oh, I fucked that up. I wonder why he was taking such a beating. <laughs> we'll have to do that again. I didn't it set it for uh, AI. <laughs> I have to do that again. Well, there's a reason for that. 
because only one of them was actually taking part. But as I was saying, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. I pop on many times other than those three live streams. I'm on many times during the day. All right, let's get this right here. There we go. All right. This competitor tonight. Now we're the significance of this match. even. This oh, but the American superstar comes out firing anyway. Don't forget, I'm also on TikTok. Scott Stevens Gaming, same name. Tons and tons of clips on there. Just as many as that's on my YouTube channel, but they're different. A little bit shorter. A little different content on there. That's cool, IDK. Well, you know what you're doing now. <laughs> I'm glad it worked for you. The American superstar is pounding Logan Paul here. Yeah, that when Paul actually wanting to defend himself, sort of. His foot was under the rope there. He's not looking very impressive. First match, of course he didn't, because I was supposed to be taking care of of him and I uh, thought I had said it for an all AI match right now the American superstar is just kicking his ass drops him face first into the top turnbuckle Logan doesn't have an excuse this time he's taking care of himself oh big running knee to the face that might be all no he kicks out at one is Logan Paul going to offer any type of offense here there he goes oh but it only lasted one one punch. The American superstar in control again. He certainly is. He's certainly looking like one. Oh, God, that's all. We may have to do a third match. Hoping that Logan Paul get. Oh, God, he kicked his ass again. We're gonna do one more, one more time. Because, wow. The first time he kicked his ass, that's understandable. I didn't have it set for the AI. But that time he did. And he just can't take that type of beating. Wow. All right, we'll do one more. We'll do one more and see if it turns out the same. This will be the final one. <laughs> and here we have a superstar with a big chip on his shoulder. We do. Logan is rated an 80 overall. But you think he'd be a little bit, have a little better performance. But he is just having his ass handed to him. Once again, for those just joining us, I had everybody, all the new DLC in action. But Logan Paul was the odd man out and didn't have anybody to hook him up with, so I put him against my recently created guy, the American Superstar. But um, in the previous matches, uh, Rob Van Dam downed uh, Machine Gun Kelly. Commander Aziz beat L.A. Knight. Saray beat uh, Z Lee. And here... Logan Paul has got his ass kicked twice by the American Superstar. Hi, Allison. Thank you for stopping in. My uh, my favorite uh, in this DLC, not not any of them, really, to be honest with you. Hi, Aiden. Uh, uh, my favorite in this DLC would have to be Rob Van Dam, only because he's the most well-known. Um, Zia Lee has a really cool entrance. That was That was really cool, but... This uh, DLC I really don't care too much about. I think it's one of the weakest. And to have it as one of the last, that kind of sucks. So I would have to say Rob Van Dam. What, what does he think he is? John Cena? What, what is that? What was that movie he just did? John Cena going to be not happy when he sees that. <laughs> but uh, probably Rob Van Dam. Just because he's the most well-known. But this, this DLC, I really, I would not spend money on it. Oh, that's cool, Aiden. I'll have to check it out. 
If I didn't have the season pass, I would not buy this DLC. I wouldn't spend the money on it. Look at this. Oh, the American Superstar kicks out at two and three quarters. Logan Paul performing much better this match. Really giving it to the American Superstar right now, but yeah, you know it's only a matter of time before he's going to turn it around. Should be an even match. Yeah, if I didn't have the the uh, the season pass, I wouldn't pay twenty bucks for this DLC. I mean, for Rob Van Dam. You could download them from the community creations for free. But the entrance for Rob was pretty cool. All of the entrances weren't bad. Superstar with the cover. Logan kicks out at one. Oh, there's a running spare, and that could do it. Logan Paul looks like he's going to go down for a third straight time. He does. The American superstar with the victory. But that time I had nothing to do with it. Logan Paul has no one to blame but himself. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. All right, so we've seen all of the new DLC guys in action. I'm sorry, Allison. He just got his ass whooped. <laughs> Three-star match. All right. All right, so we saw all of the DLC guys in action. Rob Van Dam beat Machine Gun Kelly. Commander Aziz beat L.A. Knight. Saray beat Zia Lee. She has a really, Zia Lee has a really cool entrance. And since Logan Paul was the odd man out, he didn't have anybody new to go up against. I put him against my recently created guy, the American Superstar. And uh, Superstar whooped his ass three times in a row. But we did get to see all of the new DLC guys in action, guys and gals. In action, we saw their entrances, we saw their movesets. So uh, all that is good, very good. Uh, if you liked the video, please make sure you drop a like down below, hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so you know what's going on. I have a ton of stuff going on at all times on here. Two videos go up every single day, minimum. And don't forget also I'm on TikTok. Same name, Scott Stevens Gaming, uh, just as many clips on there as there are on here. And don't forget, big live stream tonight, 7.30 Eastern Time, My Universe Continues. It is the Florida Championship Wrestling pay-per-view event tonight called Main Event. And Mick Foley will be defending the World Heavyweight Championship. And he'll be going uh, up against Gorgeous George. Blackjack Mulligan will defend the Florida Heavyweight Championship against Gilbert. The Hart Foundation are going to defend the Florida Championship Wrestling Tag Team titles against the Brothers of Destruction. Other matches, we have Sabu taking on the Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, the Honky Tonk Man, goes up against Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Junkyard Dog goes up against Nick Bockwinkle. Jake the Snake Roberts battles Earthquake, and Roman Reigns is on the card. He takes on Mr. Perfect. That is going to be one solid card tonight. 7.30 Eastern Time. And as always, I let you guys choose who I play in the matches. So everything is, is very interactive. Uh, I like to include you guys. So I will see you tonight at 7.30. Thank you for joining me. I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the previous stream where we checked everybody out. I certainly hope to see you tonight at 7.30 Eastern time for the universe. We do have a lot of fun. Um, we talk about wrestling history. We talk about wrestling current events. We talk about a lot of stuff uh, throughout the uh, stream and uh, just a, a fun, fun time. So, And I have people from all over the world, really, uh, joining us. There's a guy from uh, New Zealand who joins us, uh, Goblin. There's a guy in uh, Indonesia, Farwar, that come in truly all over the world. Uh, they come in, and, and uh, they know their shit, so we have a lot of fun. So thank you for joining me. I hope to see you then tonight. Until then, have yourself a fantastic afternoon.